All right, what's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, a little bit the same. All right, uh, today's cocktail is called the chrys chrysanthemum. Uh, so let's just get into it. First thing we are gonna need is 60 mils of a dry vermouth. Next, we'll use 30 mils of Benedictine, and then we'll put in three dashes of absinthe. We're gonna give that a stir, whip out a Nick and Nora, pour it in there, and we're gonna garnish it off with an orange peel. And that is all it is, guys. So if you look at the specs, it's very, very much the same as any other Manhattan that we've done except we're swapping out the spirits uh, for vermouth, benedictine, and absinthe, okay? Because we did that, it's going to be a lower ABV cocktail. It's not gonna be as high as your standard Manhattan. Uh, vermouths are typically around 20%. This one's 18, but we're gonna get a little bit, like we're gonna get different complexity and flavors, okay? The notes you're gonna pull are very, very much dependent on the vermouth you're using, and dry vermouths can really change based on one or from one to another. So pick the one that you really enjoy. Okay, uh, Benedictine, herbal liqueur. You're gonna get that herbalness out of there. Um, that was, we knew that from the get-go, right? Um, and then absinthe, I love absinthe. I think it is absolutely fucking delicious. Uh, three dashes of it is, it's a good amount for this cocktail. I wouldn't mind going maybe two, maybe three, or may, I wouldn't mind going maybe four or five, but you know, it depends on you do you. All right, who cares? This one is fucking delicious though. It's both odd, because it's not something that I would expect, but it's really good, if that makes any sense. <laughs> as far as the cocktail itself goes, uh, the chrys chrysanthemum, it was popularized by Harry Craddock's uh, The Savoy Cocktail Book back in the 1930s, uh, though it is believed to have been published in a book in the ni in 1916-ish. Uh, the specs do change. It was Harry Craddock who made it two to one uh, instead of, I don't remember what it actually was, but the two to one is what we use nowadays. So we go on Harry Craddock's word word, but it does go back to like the beginning of the century. Okay, that is all that I have for you today, guys. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, I'm gonna have a lot more videos like this coming every single week. So until then, keep stirring and cheers, guys.